In the following example, we are asked to find the present value of the future value. So they're giving us a future value of $11,000 invested for four years at 3% compounded monthly. So that would be compounded 12 times a year. So they'd pay out interest 12 times a year. So we already have a, we have the future value. So let's go ahead and jot that down. A is $11,000. And let's see, what else do we know? We know T is over four years, and then N compounded 12 times a year, and at an effective rate of, they gave us 3%. So we write that as 3 hundredths as a decimal. Now, our goal here is to find this present value P. So we are asking ourselves, okay, if in four years we want $11,000 in our bank account, how much do we need to invest today given these conditions? So that's what we're looking at. How much do we need to deposit today? All right. So in order to do that, well, we've got to isolate P. And the easiest thing to do is to move all of this right here. So we're actually going to rewrite this formula. And I guess I can rewrite it here in saying that P equals, and it's going to be A divided by all of this group right here. So that actually makes it really easy. If you can just picture, just put it right underneath here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to say one plus R over N in parentheses to the T N, all right? And once we do that, it's not too much more I mean, it's just a calculator, a few calculator strokes away. So we're going to write this out just so you can see. Okay, oops, no decimal there. Okay, there we go. And to the power of four times 12, and I'm just gonna clean it up just a little bit. 11,000 divided by, and then this right here works out to be 1.0025. This is basically like a fourth, okay, but not quite. Okay, raised to the power of 48. Okay, so you work all that out on your calculator, and you'll get something that looks like this. 9,000. $757 and 59 cents. So this is the present value. So let's recap what we're talking about here. All right. If I want to have $11,000 in my account in four years at 3% compounded monthly, then today I would need to invest $9,757.59. So that's exactly what this scenario was asking. Okay. So how much do we need to invest today? so that four years from now, we can have $11,000 in our account, okay? So pretty easy and simple example. The key here really is just in manipulating the formula, but uh, definitely a great example of how to find the present value given a future value.